Hi everybody, it's Carla. Happy day after Thanksgiving. I hope you had a wonderful time with your family and friends. Um, usually the day after Thanksgiving is when I pull out my ornaments and I start changing things out to Christmas items. Um, we are doing very small Christmas this year. We're only going to do gifts that will fit inside of stockings. And um, we're just going to do very minimal to the people that live farther away from us because postage is super high. And we are going to uh, decorate minimally too. And so no big tree for us. And just little items that I've made at different times of the year or that I've collected at the thrift store or at Dollar General, Dollar Tree. And uh, upcycled some stuff that I've had in my craft room and also um, made some new things. And I'm going to show you them now. Uh, I'll just go into short detail because my memory card's about full. But this is a little votive glass and wire candle holder. And it's sitting on top of a single square of granny square that I get a lot of at the thrift store. And so I use them when I can. And this is a beautiful little uh, hand and machine quilted uh, quilt that I got for $2.99 at my thrift store. And somebody took the time to blanket stitch around all the appliques, which I think is amazing. This is a little um, box from Dollar General from last year that was said fall is here and I spray painted the whole thing with silver metallic paint and then hot glued a little uh, black and white buffalo check ornament inside and made a shadow box. This was two of the wire um, uh, wreaths at Dollar Tree that I put together with zip ties and then I wrapped knitted uh, long fabric around them. I made it on my little knitting machine that, that you just hand crank and it turns out this long tube of fabric and so I just wound it over and over and over itself and I came up with this, this wreath and I put uh, a little thrifted snowman inside. I just uh, wove it through and hung it in the center and it's on my wall. This I used again that uh, silver metallic paint on an old non-working musical Christmas tree that at one time apparently revolved but it doesn't anymore and that was at the thrift store and I found a little box of thrifted wooden ornaments and I hung it from all of the little branches there at least in the front and sides. This was a recycled pickle jar and I mod podged a scene on it from an old Santa scene. I put in um, a spray of flowers that is inside of a foam core. I wrapped the core and uh, all around with white tissue paper and shove tissue paper down inside there so you don't see anything but white and then I use some Dollar Tree or Dollar General sorry ribbon and then a piece of uh, checked ribbon off of another ornament and hot glued that to the jar and it makes a nice little centerpiece decoration. Back here is a recycled uh, green bean can so the larger size and I took the cuff portion of a thrifted um, Christmas stocking, cut it off, put the hemmed edge at the bottom, and made it look like this little snowman puppet sitting inside of a snowbank. And to hold him upright, I put a mystic uh, beverage uh, empty jar inside of uh, him, and it holds this uh, him steady. And he's just really, really cute. This is a carafe, glass carafe, that I got at uh, the thrift store a couple years ago. I had spray painted it white and it was originally decorated with blue and beige uh, ribbons and some leaves and such. And instead I uh, decked it out with some Christmas ribbon from Dollar General. And it's the little trees riding in the back of a truck. And this bottom was the cuff off of a little Santa boot that was knitted or, and put around a little plastic insert that either held candy or decoration or something. And that's where I've got my candy canes hanging out. This was a find at Dollar General after uh, Halloween. And it was when it got down to 90% off, I got this little Day of the Dead cat for 60 cents. He was originally six dollars and there you can see he's a little shelf sitter. He's got a little sand in his bottom to hold him upright. And I took off his cape and his yellow bow and I found this little um, beverage dress-up thing at Dollar General as well for a dollar and it's got a little scarf that's permanently attached there in the center and I kind of smooshed that over his head and then I safety pinned the hat which would have fit over the the top of the beverage 
and uh, he's celebrating Christmas as well. This is a little um, wreath ornament I made a year or two ago, and it's just two pieces of cardboard uh, glued together and then uh, whip stitched inside and out of the ring with a little uh, hanger there to match and then hot glued these buttons to it and it, oh and it's got fabric on it that was Mod Podge to it and then uh, it's got buttons hot glued around and I took time to um, sew into the buttonholes so it looks like they're sewn on but they're actually just hot glued on. This was a cute little stocking that I got just because it's cute and it's got a Christmas tree uh, theme going here and I love the red and black checks. This is a little wooden star with a heart inside that I've had up for years now since we moved down here. It first was a weathered gray and brown looking and the heart inside was all faded and I painted it green and kind of a mauve uh, color for the heart and it just decks the house out pretty much year round. These are currently at Dollar Tree right now and they can hang on your wall. It says Merry Christmas and let it snow. Those are very cute. I took an old frame I had, I used the glass portion, and I used some window clings to go onto the glass itself. And I just put it against the backing, I didn't put any paper or anything behind it. And then I hot glued this ribbon that came off the little Day of the Dead cat onto this little um, felted Christmas tree ornament with the bell and hung it up here by the snowman to cover up a little rivet that was showing through. And I didn't want it to show through my little design. Here's Christmas stockings. These are all new with the tags still on them, but they were from the thrift store. And um, that's what we put on, hang on our old original thick, thick door that came in this 100 plus year old house. So this is uh, mine right here. That's my husband's. This is kind of a joint stocking in case we buy a movie or something for ourselves just to use as a family. And we'll just put little things in there that we'll use jointly. Um, this is a little uh, stocking I got for my son's cats, which I like to buy them little toys and treats, and uh, they love them. And this is my son's stocking, and we'll, the three of us will celebrate Christmas together, Lord willing, this year. And we've been doing it for a while, and it's a lot of fun. But like I said, this is a very small Christmas, and just with what we can put in a stocking. So let me cover this up, and we'll go over here. This was another thrifted um, find, and it was originally from Hobby Lobby because the tag was still on the back and the hanger was still wrapped in cardboard, so it was never used, and it actually was painted on the outside to go vertically, not horizontally, and it said, congratulations, you're a big brother, and I covered that up, and my husband flipped the um, hanger part to, to the end so I could hang it long ways, and I used a old... Um, from last year's Dollar Tree finds, I used one of their Over the River and Through the Woods gift bags, and I Mod Podged it to this with the, the high gloss Mod Podge that you can get for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And there was a flaw in the bag, and so I took the little gift card that had the cardinal on it, cut the cardinal out, and I put it over it to where it covered the flaw, and it looks like it's flying off of the paper, and I thought that was really cute. All right, the center one is an old-timey. I love these. These are probably back from the 80s or 70s. And it's a bell pull right there, and it's crocheted, and it's got bells in it. And they usually would hang from a door and make a little tingling sound whenever you would open the door. But I hung it there instead. This one is, um, it started out as a Halloween plaque. Then I turned it into an Easter or springtime kind of a hanging decoration. And then I took all that off, put some fabric from a Christmas uh, project bag, and uh, Mod Podge that over it. And then I found this ornament at Dollar General that said Noel. And I found this uh, raffia bows with the little pine cones. And I uh, hot glued that onto a star shape and put these silver uh, designs on top of it. Let me show you something else. Um, these are currently at Dollar Tree, and I just thought they were really cute. The little Christmas tree and the snowman. And then over here, another thrifted find. This was a sunflower wreath. It's made out of a wood or some kind of wood carbonate kind of thing. I'm not sure what it is. 
but I used the rest of the paint, the silver metallic paint, and spray painted it silver. And then I had these little stringing things that were on little, uh, they were little felt shapes on tiny clothespins at Dollar General. And you got, I don't know, eight or ten of them, I don't know, or maybe a dozen for a dollar. And I took the little felted parts off and I uh, hot glued them onto here and hot glued snowflakes onto here. And then I used another buffalo check ornament and hung it from the center. And that's where the other corrugated little snow or little star shape was originally hanging in the center, but I thought for contrast that would be pretty. And then this is just a little fluffy, fluffy pillow that has some Christmas designs, and I hung that up above it. Down here at Dollar, um, sorry, at uh, the thrift store today, I actually got a, a Bath and Body Works three-wick candle, brand new in the package, like it was gift pack, with ribbon and shiny packaging, and it had a the pocket back sanitizer and um, holder, and I got both of those for $3.99, and it's never been used, and it's really, really pretty, and it's white gardenia, and that's my first three-wick candle from Bath & Body Works. This was just a little uh, thrifted ornament that I've had in my craft room for about a year. I was thinking of trying to make some like it, but instead I just decided to put it on my little fakey fireplace here, which is right here. And then this was a little glass. Um, looks like they took a glass candle holder and hot glued a ball uh, mason jar to it. And I just put a piece of this white down here is a, a cut out round shape of a sponge. And I put a little uh, red votive candle. And then I put some ribbon around it. And I hot glued ribbon to the front of it. So that's just another little Christmas thing. And this was from a year or so ago when I made some big ornaments. And they're just with styrofoam balls that I spray painted or painted by hand, put some glitter on, ribbons, and then some long um, pearlized kind of, uh, what do you call them, long straight pins. And then this one here is another one that was a styrofoam ball wrapped in yarn that has um, glitter going through it and with some tiny little uh, ribbons of different colors. And again, just poking them through with long straight pins. So let me go back. Yeah, that's kind of all my decorations I'm doing for the year. And I just wanted to show you, it's just, it's just a cute little uh, look in our living room. And I still haven't cleaned everything up from Thanksgiving yesterday. So I'm working on cleaning my living room as I'm decorating, but I wanted to take time and show you how this turned out because I thought it turned out really, really cute. So everyone have a wonderful uh, long weekend. Hope you get to shop. Hope you get to spend time with family and friends and uh, start your nice and safe holiday shopping and in the month leading up to Christmas and hope you and yours stay safe, healthy, happy, and warm wherever you're at. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.